the Bay Area, uh, Cupertino. If you don't know where that is, I guess it's like close to San Francisco. Um, in my free time, I like to do things like uh, I like to play tennis. Um, I played the tennis team in our school. Um, I like to play video games with my friends, um, basketball with my friends, because most of my friends play basketball. Um, I like to cook uh, and bake. I find it, I personally find it really interesting, like even before this program, um, like my dad had talked to me about it before. Um, he had mentioned it to me before and like explained to me some simple problems, I guess, because he found it really interesting. He felt like I should know what it is as well. And like, I personally found it really interesting as well. And I wanted mm -hmm. to like learn more and do more like academically. I think it's pretty different from like normal classes because it's like, so in terms of like getting a lecture, it's like, since it's a smaller class, it feels more interactive. Like you're talking more in, in the uh, lectures and, and then you're also working on a project at the end that's like completely up to you. Whereas like in school, normally they give you specific guidelines, like, or you can you know, choose from a few options or something like that. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun working with uh, Professor Mark. I think he's really fun. Uh, he made the class more, like, I think even if I didn't have an interest in game theory, you would make me interested in the concept or at the very least like make me feel interested in the class itself uh, while I was there. What I'm doing is I'm analyzing it's sort of like poker but it's uh, since poker itself is an extremely uh, like hard to look at game it's a really simplified version of poker which is a four card deck and each player uh, draws one card from the deck and based off what card you have, obviously, you, you know, there's three options for your opponent's cards. And um, based off that, I, I'm analyzing like basic strategies that uh, players would use, such as like a really aggressive play style where you always bet or a more passive one where you prefer to check and uh, fold. Uh, yeah, so uh, one of the, um, so um, Professor was helping me gather uh, like research papers like people have published in the past and one of them was like a three card poker and i was like okay i think I, I think i can you know up the amount of cards so i went to four and instantly the math got like so much harder and so what they did which i was attempting to do at first uh was find an optimal strategy um for each player because it, it's a two-player game in the situation um and with four cards at least with the way I was doing my math, it became impossible actually. And I was kind of stuck on it for a few days, like trying to decide what to do because the math itself wasn't uh, like, the way they could analyze their math wasn't possible for mine due to the number of variables I had. So instead I decided to change my direction. So instead of finding an optimal strategy, I decided to analyze like simple strategies for each player and how they interacted with each other. I think I had a phase where I watched a lot of poker online. I, I thought it was really uh, interesting to watch the players play. I don't know, it's just partly because some players get really mad and partly because it, I think it takes a lot of uh, skill to try to get really good at the game. Because like, I think understanding the rules is easy, but getting to that high level is yeah, it's really hard, I think.